Hey, let's show you how to sync data out of Boospace using AI generated synchronization template. So click on add new data share. So it's going to take your data out of Boospace. Choose the module that you want to load data from. Click continue, choose your tool. So now Google contacts will be used for the purpose of this demonstration. And inside the scenario, we do have manually crafted template here, but I want to show you uh, how to work with the AI because some tools we don't have the manual crafted templates for. So for the purpose of this video, I will choose the AI and let's see how it copes with uh, creating scenario for the way out for you. So choose this, go next. And now that's a very important moment to give a correct instruction for your, uh, for your synchronization. So you have to choose corresponding watch modules, corresponding triggers, I would say, uh, from the third party tools. So um, we want to choose how to get a record. So we're going to be synchronizing contacts in this case. So we're going to get a contact here. We want to choose create a record. So it's called create contact in uh, Google contacts and update a record. So it, we're looking for something like update a contact. So um, why? Because we have to instruct our AI to know which endpoints to use uh, so that it can craft your template. Some tools are more complicated than Google contacts and uh, think about your e-commerce solution. It might have many different entities like orders, products, different types of data that it can synchronize. And you have to tell our AI engine which data is it that you want to synchronize with Google contacts we are set and ready to start creating the template so this is the connection that will be created i can click next and continue so now the magic is happening the ai is working hard and uh, in a few seconds i will have the data synchronization template ready so as you can see, it's a little bit more complex scenario than on the way in. And that's because we not only have to uh, sync data to the third party tool, but we also have to get back some information about whether it was successfully saved remote IDs so that we can then work and orchestrate two way synchronization. So it's always the best practice now to click at the right side on the first trigger and then run this module only first, which will just load one record of data here. And it will also load all the custom fields. And it's very important to do that because then when you are mapping fields in the follow-up uh, modules, it will be able to map also those custom fields. So this is important thing to do. And uh, right now we need to do a few steps. So let's start with uh, creating or selecting connections for our Google contacts. So I already have a connection here, so we can use that Google contacts connection number three and continue. It's asking me actually to extend my permissions because uh, I am now asking uh, uh, Google to actually update the data here. So it ex extends the scope of this connection and uh, we have the connection ready. So now we can use the AI mapping feature. So map the fields. So let's do that. It will try to map the corresponding fields from the boost space to the Google contacts. It takes about 10 seconds. It's good to really um, check uh, whether everything is correct. We are still you know, working on the accuracy, trying to improve the accuracy. And actually, um, you see that here for the emails and phones, you have the map field selected. So I, I prefer and it works better if you uh, uncheck it. And if you actually add the email item here, um, this is this is better option so you choose the email here so this is basically fixing some of the the ai mapping uh for for us also for the phone number uh let's do that manually but uh, i feel the ai was successful in helping us map many other fields uh inside inside this so it saved us at least uh, some valuable time and we have this one node uh ready we can go to the next node here you can choose again your connection so i'm using the connection number three can be the same so that is fine and as a contact id you need to choose the remote id from this green iterator so it needs to look like this click ok 
So now we have to go to the last node here and choose uh, the mapping. So this one is more complicated because the ID has to come from the Google contacts, this one, but all the remaining fields like name, family name, everything has to come from boost space. So I'm gonna have to do that manually here because the AI mapping is uh, always trying to map the first module. We, we're gonna work on that on future releases, but for now uh, we have to do some of the mapping here. So uh, make sure we select the you know, uh, necessary fields, which are marked by being bold. Um, I think one email is enough. Phone number, um, you can use the search here and make sure you're choosing from the right tool. So this one, last note, is a mix. The contact ID is from the Google Contacts node and all the remaining fields are being saved from the boost space. So now we have actually successfully set up all three Google Contacts modules and we can now work on the filters. So most of the filters have been already preset uh, using our AI. So for example, uh, this one is already set up. But here on this one particular filter, you have to uh, set up which fields it will be checking for changes. So first we choose, for example, um, the family name. If it's if the family name of the record does not does not, is not equal to the family name or surname in boost space, in that particular case, it will proceed to write changes. You can then add more rules to this. So here you can add the order rule and you can set, for example, whether um, a first name, given name is not equal to the given name inside boost space. So we, we call that uh, first name. And so in that case, the changes will be updated. So here we are actually setting uh, the situation uh, which fields to check for. So after we've done that, uh, we are ready to proceed. So if you remember at the start of the scenario, I've created this uh, um, choose where to start option. And at this moment, I am ready to start running the scenario. So I want to choose that and choose run all again so that all my data get synchronized into boost space. And now we can set up the scheduling, save the scenario, turn this on and run the scenario. So now it's already running. So that's why I this error, but it's actually now running, processing the data and the data is now gonna appear inside my Google contacts. So data from Boostspace have been transferred to Google Contacts and you have successfully managed to work and craft your uh, scenario from the AI generated template. We definitely gonna be pushing this further. We're gonna be pushing this to make this even more simple for you. But at this moment, this is how to work with AI generated template.